going on guys we're out here with the Corvette again um, this time we're doing some new rotors well newish as you can see they're a little bit worn um, they are DBA 5000 I just might replace the actual like outer part of it I don't know uh, but I guess let's just get started so you see I was already struggling with the other side so I pretty much got the hang of it so first things first obviously you want to jack it up and remove the lug nuts. Uh, so. One thing I do want to say is that if you don't have like these little hockey pucks I'm going to show you for like the jacking points, I recommend you get them. I think they're like 20 or 40 bucks on Amazon. I don't know. I'll probably link it in the description. So, but here, oh, nice. A little rusted out 240Z ball, 260. Um, but yeah, it's these little black things that you could put the jack stand in and it makes it easier to jack up without messing anything up but anyway let's get started on removing well jacking this up my rotors aren't really all that bad I mean a little bit worn down by the rings but I think I could still use a little bit more but I just wanted something that I could use better for like track data as more ventilation so that's why I got those but anyway when you get back here up oh, wrong side when you get back here there's gonna be two 21 millimeter bolts that you have to remove and then that'll take out the whole entire caliper together um, I have one piece brake pads if you have two pieces or I make three um, might want to make sure I don't fall out and I might also need to move this because it might be basically stuck to the actual rotor well the yeah that's pretty it's pretty jammed up in there but let's get ready I'm gonna hit the top one with my Milwaukee impact wrench that shit works um, and then the bottom one I'm gonna have to do by hand but Whatever, let's see if I can give you guys a good angle. Oh, another thing is that these are torqued down to 125 foot pounds. So, <clears throat> you're going to have to use a lot of strength to get it down. That's why I'm sweating over here. Um, but, just be warned. That's all. Alright then, let's see this. Oh, well, I'm tightening it like an idiot. Okay. So, you want to make sure yours doesn't drop like that. Right, cool. I love my screwdriver on the other side, so I'll be right back.
just a little word of advice I don't ever recommend you do it like that because I kind of scratched up the pad but it's whatever now the other thing is that when you remove these calipers um, on the actual rotor there's going to be two little locking rings type of thing over here it's gonna be one here well I mean they're gonna be anywhere but it's normally like a locking ring with like forks on it so it grabs onto the grooves of the wheel stud you could either clip them out or try to get them out and reuse them I cut mine when I put my winter wheels because I use spacers and it just wouldn't sit flush um, but basically after you cut them out rotor should come out very easily between the two they they pretty much look the same size um, this one's just more ventilated since it's like a two-piece that's all I can tell you pretty much they look the same to me so I just I guess went for look at this point I don't know also it's easier to replace the outside since it's two piece you just remove this part but let's finish this Alright, so like I said, you want it's 125 foot pounds. If you want to get your torque wrench, torque it. You can, I'm just gonna do it till it's tight and it's pretty friggin' tight. So I'm just gonna call it a day. So it's time to put the wheels and then we're all good to go. just want to tighten after it's been dropped just to make sure that's like actually tight tight um, and that's pretty much it uh, the rears is pretty much the same exact thing yeah I mean that's it if this video is helpful you know like subscribe comment whatever um, this is how the rotors pretty much look think about painting this so there'll definitely be a video on that but they look a lot better than the OEM ones so you know Thanks for watching guys. Bye.